Hey you guys, it's Britt. Today we're here to talk for a few minutes about Addison Ray and something that she was recently canceled over that I think is super silly and I wanted to talk about it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so if you're not familiar, Addison Rae is a huge creator. She got her start on TikTok. She's also on YouTube, and she has just become a very mainstream influencer. She has her own beauty brand that is in Sephora, and it's called Item Beauty. I've looked at a couple of the products. I haven't purchased anything from the brand because it's not really anything that jumps out at me. It's not anything that excites me. If you guys have um, tried anything from the brand, be sure to let me know, but what I really want to talk about today is the fact that she, her brand, Item Beauty, just released a couple weeks ago this blue light protection facial mist. And blue light protection from computer screens and from your phone screen, it's been discussed by many dermatologists that the best way to protect yourself from any small amount of blue light that can be transmitted from your screen to your face and you know your neck and chest is just to wear your SPF and most of us do that anyway but leading up to this point there was also a twitch streamer named uh, Valkyrie and she teamed up to release an entire line of blue light protection products because of the limited research and people feeling like it was a cash grab, she got on a live stream and she pretty much said, I'm not doing this. What, what essentially happened with her was she was the face of this brand. She did not know near what she should have known about the claims of blue light protection and what dermatologists are actually saying, and she bailed. So that company is done, but... Just shortly after that, Addison Ray comes out with this uh, blue light facial mist. And I want to read a little bit from this article. And let's also close out with sort of my opinions about pseudoscience when it comes to skincare, especially. And it can also cross into makeup, but it's a lot with skincare because when you're in Sephora or Ulta or shopping online, there are so many claims that are tied to a lot of the skincare products that we know and love, but a lot of them, it is pseudoscience. You know, I, I can tell you guys, I've been using so many different kinds of eye creams and moisturizers over the years, and very few of them make an actual difference in my skin. But if you go and look at the product online, they will have all kinds of crazy claims. It'll, you know, 98% of people said that their wrinkles were diminished under their eyes. 92% of people said that their um, pores were gone after they used this moisturizer. So it is a lot of pseudoscience, but first let's talk about the blue light mist. So this was posted on Insider and it says that TikToker Addison Ray promoted a blue light mist as part of her item beauty skincare range this week, saying it can help prote protect skin from potential damage from electronic screens. However, this comes just a few months after streamer Valkyrie canceled the same product due to backlash. Experts and critics alike said that there is little scientific basis for a spray to protect against the blue light emitted from screens. And there is no evidence yet that the light from screens specifically causes damage at all. And that's what dermatologists have been saying. If you are worried about it, your SPF is gonna cover your bases. All of these blue light products that have come out. And the funny thing is, is Valkyrie was, you know, completely canceled over this uh, when it wasn't something that she created in the lab and was giving out to people. She was the face of it because when you think about marketing with products, someone who is a Twitch streamer or someone who is an influencer would be the perfect face for a product like this. They're on in front of a screen all day. So let's have them be the face. Um, you know, she definitely got a lot of heat for it and she bailed. Addison Ray, I don't believe is going to do that, but it is really funny how all of these different products have come out leading up to Valkyrie and then she gets dragged and then Addison Ray comes out with this and nobody's really talking about it. Nobody's really upset with her. So I do kind of scratch my head when it comes to why are we not 
keeping the same energy. Personally, I don't think that Valkyrie deserved a fraction of the, you know, heat that she got. Um, but I think a lot of it came from the way that she reacted once she got the kickback um, from, from her fans and other people online. It goes on to say Valkyrie, whose real name is Rachel Hofsetter, uh, launched a skincare line called Reflect in collaboration with Ideavation Labs in October of last year, saying the product contains something called BLPR, a blue light protection factor, which worked in a similar way to SPF, protecting against the blue wavelengths rather than the UV ones, and a rice extract that protects against blue light pollution. However, the line was branded a scam by some critics. I think people need to figure out what scam really means. I see the word scam just plastered on everything and that's not what a scam is. By some critics who noted the inconclusive research and determined it was a cash grab. Two weeks later, Reflect ceased to exist. On its website, a message stated, while we believe in the formulations created, after further reflection, we have decided to move forward in new paths, effectively terminating the Reflect brand. Addison Ray launched her mist called Screen Break three months later, claiming it is clinically proven to protect skin from screen emitted HEV blue light and daily pollution. It contains many similar ingredients as Hofsetter's Reflect Spray did, mostly oils, cleansers, and plant extracts. When Hofsetter saw the advert for screen break she tweeted how is this real and she said i wouldn't be surprised if it's the same company insiders Kenila lopez reported that experts were skeptical uh, whether light from the phone and laptops caused any damage to the skin uh, as studies have been inconclusive dermatologists with schweiger dermatology group in philadelphia dr michelle farber told lopez that while the research has shown increased inflammation and can uh, break down collagen from blue light exposure. Scientists are still looking into it. Most of the health concerns regarding overexposure to blue light is related to eye strain and vision problems, not skin, according to dermatologist Adam Mamelack. So that makes sense because if you think about it, so many companies have these blue light protection glasses. So even if you don't need glasses to help your vision. You can get blue light glasses if you sit in front of a computer screen all day and it can help the strain and um, you know possible minimal damage that could be done to your eyes. But once it started to bleed over into the skincare world, you know, if, if that's something that you wanna try, then by all means, go for it. From the screen break ingredients list, the only one that seems specifically tailored to blue light Protection is some niffier root extract. Oh Lord, that's a hard word. Niacinamide and metha arvensis leaf oil may have potential antioxidant properties, she added, while dandelion root extract can protect against UVB waves. So it's just all completely so unclear. And you know, that's the thing. I do you find it sort of funny how nobody's really upset with Addison Ray, and when you think about the hate and backlash that Valkyrie received for the same claims in the same product, they're both facial mists that are supposed to protect from blue light. And this product is up in uh, on Sephora's website from Addison's brand item Beauty. It seems to have really good reviews, but People also buy stuff because it's Addison Rae's brand and a lot of her audience just might not have any idea that you don't need a mist to protect yourself from blue light, you know, that's given off from your phone or your laptop screen. Um, you know, and some people might just be buying it because it's a face mist. I'm not sure, but some of the claims are very interesting and some people have you know, been upset about Addison releasing this product. But when you look at the amount of backlash that Valkyrie received versus what Addison is receiving, it is a night and day difference, which is the part that I find really interesting. Have you guys tried blue light products? Have you, um, have you heard of them, but you're not interested in them? Do you have blue light protection on your eyeglasses if you wear those? I am really interested to hear from you guys on this. And 
do you find it as intriguing as I do that both of these people are influencers and one was dragged and one wasn't? I find that very intriguing. So, you know, I'm not buying anything to protect my skin from blue light because I've, I have heard enough from dermatologists that are board certified that if you're worried about it, that your SPF will protect you. And if you need blue light protection for anything, it would be your eyes. And my um, normal eyeglasses that I wear actually have a blue light uh, film on them. So I'm covered there and I'm content and happy with that for now. But I do think it's really interesting. But when it comes to uh, the pseudoscience idea with skincare claims, this is something that I'm used to. I've been seeing claims that are sort of unfounded a lot of times attached to really expensive skincare products since I was 16 years old, especially once I was um, 19 and I started working for Nordstrom. And, you know, since I was working at MAC and I was in cosmetics, I would always see all of these skincare products coming in when they were, whether they were brand new or just restocked. And that's where my interest in skincare really started. So I would see a whole bunch of expensive products, a whole bunch of claims. And all these years later, I look back and I'm like, I am just as happy, if not more happy with my $12 CeraVe eye cream that I've been using for years now, as I have been with a $60 or $70 eye cream that I've tried along the way. So, you know, at the end of the day, your skin needs to be moisturized and taken care of, but at the end of the day, we're always gonna have a bunch of claims. There's always gonna be a new thing that we need to fix and a new ingredient that we have to be using on our skin. That is the well-oiled machine of the beauty industry. They're always coming out with something that we have to have. But I don't know, let me know what you guys think about this whole Valkyrie, Addison Ray thing, especially because they're happening so close together. It's not like the Valkyrie thing happened three years ago and people forgot about it. It did happen just in October. So we're talking about months later. And, um, you know, Addison Rae is just sitting on her mountain of money and it is what it is. So, you know, I, I don't care for Addison Rae, but I also don't dislike her. I just don't really pay her any mind. So... Um, yeah, either way, let me know what you guys think. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.